Hello and welcome to my fourth tutorial in this series of Skyrim Creation Kit. I am Daganus from Skyrim Nexus. And today we will be going through uh, containers. Um, I had originally planned to do lights, FX and water but I sort of um, had a rethink because ideally I should have put containers into um, the clutter tutorial but I want to do containers then do the FX and lighting so uh, it does so, so I know I've got space and doesn't muddle thing up thing up I'm also thinking of once I've done this do the lights and the FX then um, nav meshing then then adding uh, finally adding water and then NPCs in that sort of order because um, in my mind that's sort of how it works that's how I usually do things anyway sorry to uh, ramble on there what we're going to do if you're following along in the series and you've downloaded the uh, current um, map you should end up with something like this as you can see there's boulders here here and here uh, they're not actually really piercing the hole it's just more for the effect it, it sort of looks slightly caved in let's see if I can as you can see it's a little bit rebel it, it just adds a little bit of flavor as it were I know they're slightly different colors but once we've done the lighting and the FX uh, the, the lighting and the image spacing will sort of merge the colorings it was it will look fine it will look dandy it, it will be fine so no need to worry there what I'm quickly going to do is, if the camera will let me, is in this little space here, I'm going to add a chest. Now what you want to do, uh, you want to go to world objects, then container. Um, as you can see there's a list there, but if you wanted something uh, specific, I'm just going to put chest for example, and then it will just give me a list of uh, chests. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see what we've got here. Da, 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 da. A treasure chest of bandit. Treasure bandit chest. Let's see what they've got here. Chest boss. I'll put that in the other one. <coughs> Sorry, tickly throat. So you want to rotate it. So obviously the face is forward, facing forward. Make sure it's at the bottom. Ah, that's fine. Maybe just sort of slant it to the side so it's not so static as it were. Right. <coughs> so we've got our chest. Sorry about my cough, still got my cold. Um, lock. If you wish for it to be locked, obviously you can just go click here and the level, obviously, the level of your um, lock picking. You can alternatively do requires key, then go through this list and give give them an assigned key, and then give an NPC or uh, the key or place it somewhere in the in the uh, dungeon world. So just just for I'm just going to put this to apprentice. You could also use level, so it would also level with you. Um, I think that's either leveled or at a level above. I'm not too sure, but generally that sort of works in the character. It, Generally, in the same instance as PC level malts from um, companion tutorial earlier, it's sort of similar ish ways. Uh, reflected by what do we need? Right, sorry. Um, encounter zones you'll see these now again i'll quickly go over those and uh, locations when um <coughs> sorry do excuse me i've got a tickly check, check, cough when i go over um connecting dungeons to the world it sort of location helps out in the console helps uh, locate things and when you coc places um in the console that's ideally what the uh it's in a reference to as well as scripting, questing, and you want encounter zones. It's just something you generally need. So I'll go over that at some point soon. But for now, we want to see what's in the treasure chest. So obviously you can see all these leveled items here. 
So this is what you can potentially get from one of these boxes. So these preview calculated results, preview level. So if you go in as a level one, let's see what you might get. So you might get a blizzard scroll and gold. And let's put level 25. There you get restore health and all, all sorts. And let's try just one more, let's just put 60. Uh, you get less but more in a sense there. Now you can go ahead and add more items if you want. So, so I'll just add new there. Was that the one it put in? Yeah, just pick. Um, so you, you, you ideally want to put a leveled item in. Um, so it, it gives you gear uh, for your co corresponding level. So let's say I'm just going to pick level item any one handed, put it new in, any two handed, and new level item ammo, see if that uses, uh, works. No, that didn't work. Level item weapon. I'll just put a bow in there as well. So you've got the three main weapons in there as well. So let's say preview level 60. And that seems to. Um, oh, I know what's wrong. Schoolboy error. I forgot to change the count. That's why it came up with so many errors. In this count, you just want one. So it only gives a chance of one um, item. As before, it was set to 10. And so, sort of a cheat chest, as it were. But, oh, there we go. At level 60, you get your glass weaponry. Let's go to level 10. And you've got a hunting bow and orcus great great sword. <coughs> Obviously you can go through and add what you want and where you want. I'm just doing this for tutorial sakes. Um, everything else you don't need to worry about really. It, it's all um, pre-done. I mean you're only editing the contents really. So I've added one there. This is going to be the first obviously room and this is going to be the boss room. So I'm now you may have saw, uh, seen me click on that boss bandit chest thing. I am going to add a bandit chest. Do 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 another one. If I can find what I was looking for. Boss. There we go. Just make sure it's flat on the vertices there. I'm sure that's flat enough to be honest. Now once again, to edit base. Uh, you can see you get a bit more here. Preview level, let's go up a notch. Yeah, so you can see you get quite a lot more in the boss ones, but obviously they're a lot harder to get to so I'm going to set this one to adept I think the last one was apprentice I'll set that one to adept don't want to make it too difficult in case you're too low leveled um, obviously if you're really low leveled you still might have a bit of difficulty unless you're a bit lucky um, okay so that's the containers done um no it's not I tell a lie do forgive me you may have seen if you've already downloaded this map I, I know the tutorials have been quick in succession so people probably haven't had a chance to play about with them but I added this broken table this is actually in two pieces 
as you can see it's ruins broken table zero one and ruins broken table two, zero two they're actually two separate pieces I just sort of um, 